Hi, BJ Posnacki. In this video, I just wanna go over what you might experience with outlets in your kitchen. So providing that the circuit breaker is on for the kitchen lights, and we're also gonna do the bathroom as well too. But outlets in any wet location, so the kitchen, bathroom, garage, even an attic crawl space area, the outside are all GFI protected. And a GFI looks something similar to this. It's a square device and it has a built-in test and reset button. Okay, there's a few different variations. This particular one has a little light that is off when it's on. And when it trips, it has a little red light that comes on. Okay, and then there's a few other ones that when they're on, there's a green light that you may see that may turn off when it trips. So what I just did is, for illustration purposes, I have two lamps here. And now what we do is when we have a GFI, what we can do is we can put multiple outlets after it that are GFI protected without having to install more GFI outlets. So these are what we call daisy chained. So the power comes in on this GFI and then everything downstream is on the load side of it. And when that GFI, so basically it turns all these regular outlets that are down line into a GFI outlet. So what happens is, is if any one of these outlets sense a spark, like a GFI, it shuts down this whole circuit and everything on, or I should say after this GFI will shut down. So I've got these two lamps up here, plugged into an outlet on the left side and the right side of the stove top here. So when this GFI trips and I'm hitting the, the test button, I'm just simulating a spark. It shuts them down and it shuts down everything else down line. Now, also too, sometimes on the kitchen island, you may have a GFI outlet and it, it may, you may have another outlet on the other side of the island that it's protecting that. Or you may have a GFI in one of these locations and it protects all the outlets. So if you're ever having an issue in the kitchen, look for the GFIs and then hit the test button really good. Give it a good push in just to make sure that it, it, it that it's pushed all the way in. So it's, it's essentially it's clearing everything and then push the reset button and it should turn back on. Now, if the GFI is defective, then it won't reset. So then you need to change the GFI. In your bathrooms, a lot of municipalities require that the whole bathroom, ooh, and as well as your garage too, a lot of municipalities will have your garage GFI protected or require it. So meaning that if that GFI trips or it goes defective, it shuts down the whole garage. So if it were my house, what I always advise tell people to do is they have an electrician hotwire the garage. Now, that is kind of a cold violation. So, you know, it's something you got to kind of do under the sneak. But here's the thing. If that GFI trips or you lose power, you have no, you have no power to the garage door opener. So if you don't want to do that, I always tell people to stash a key outside because if you lose power and you don't have a battery backup garage door opener, you're locked out of the house. So you will have no power, the outlets, the garage door opener, lights, it, will, it shuts basically the way that the GFI is wired in the garage as well as the bathroom that we're in. Again, anything downstream will shut down. So we're in the bathroom. we got the light on. Turn the, the fan on. And when I test this GFI and I trip it, shuts down everything. Okay, this one's got the red light. So I'm going to give it a good push in the test. And then I'm going to hit the reset button and everything turns back on. So always start there if you're having an issue with outlets in any outlet that has a GFI, which is going to be in any wet location. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.